Hello everyone and welcome back to my uh, vegan cooking channel and today we are going to make cauliflower pizza so uh, it's going to be healthy uh, gluten and grain free and uh, Italian style of course vegan and for this I have uh, one uh, quite large a uh, cauliflower uh, head uh, from which I'm going to make a uh, cauliflower uh, rice and uh, I will use uh, my uh, blender uh, to do it but you can use a uh, grater if you don't have one okay and um, I will tell you about all other uh, ingredients as we go, I already uh, wash and divided uh, cauliflower into florets. Okay, all right. And meanwhile, I'm um, boiling water, and I'm going to tell you why I'm doing this in a few minutes. Okay, let's get started. Okay. I'm putting that in. We are making a. Uh, cauliflower rice. This is my um, cauliflower rice. Okay. The water is boiling. And we're going to put uh, my uh, cauliflower uh, rice in the water for about five minutes. Okay. Just to soften. Checking on my um, uh, rice cauliflower. About three more minutes. Then I'm going to uh, uh, drain my uh, rice cauliflower in a fine mesh strainer. You need to make sure it's a fine strainer, otherwise uh, your cauliflower is going to uh, sip through the house, okay? I will just do it right now. I already drained uh, my uh, cauliflower rice and I'm going to let it cool for about five minutes okay actually I can uh, show you uh, how much I got okay okay so um, this is a uh, strainer I use it's it just working perfectly for me okay and i'm going to show you how much uh rice i got okay uh, so again i use uh one pre pretty large um head of cauliflower and i got this much of uh, uh cauliflower uh, rice uh, out of it okay and i can tell uh it is still hot okay so i will let it cool Okay, and for about five minutes. Uh, while my um, cauliflower rice is, uh, is cooling, I'm going to uh, show you uh, my ingredients, my toppings uh, for my um, pizza. Uh, again, that is going to be um, healthy cauliflower pizza. Okay, I will use uh, mixed mushrooms today, red onions, spinach as my toppings. Okay, I will also use uh, a vegan cheese and my sauce is going to be um, tomato basil. Okay, and this one is actually no sugar added, but you can use any toppings you like instead of this kind of sauce. If you don't like it, you can use marinara or 
even um, vegan pesto. This is absolutely up to you. If you don't like sauce, just skip it, okay? While, um, while the rice is uh, cooling, um, while um, my uh, cauliflower rice is cooling, it is still pretty warm. So I'm going to take, uh, uh, take advantage of this right now and I will uh, make flex eggs, yes. If you have flat eggs, use them, but I'm going to make um, a flex eggs from, uh, from flaxseed meal and water, okay? I will use one and, and a half a tablespoon of flaxseed meal. Okay, and combine my uh, flaxseed with water. It is about one four cup of water. Okay. And again, this is going to be my flex eggs, which I'm going to add with my cauliflower rice. So my uh, cauliflower rice is ready to be transferred into a, a bowl. Okay. Okay. I just make a mistake because after the uh, cauliflower rice is it's cold i supposed to uh place it on the paper towel uh in order for the liquid to absorb because this is very very important step okay and uh but since i I mean, this is my first time I'm making this, so I forgot the step, okay? But please, um, make sure to, to, to do it, okay? And um, I just hope that my cross is going to be all good, okay? Um, even I skipped the you know, step. So uh, right now, eh, I'm going to just add all other ingredients okay so i have uh, uh one fourth of <laughs> teaspoon of uh, salt okay which i'm going to add right now three tablespoon of um, nutritional yeast or you can also uh, use parmesan okay one uh, teaspoon of basil, dry basil. You can also use fresh basil if you want to. Um, three um, <coughs> minced uh, cloves of um, garlic. Okay, one generous spoon of arrowroot or, uh, or cornstarch. and one tablespoon of gluten-free uh, flour will which discourage um, the, our dough from sticking to the parchment paper, okay, which we're going to use also on a baking pan, okay, so um, I use this kind of uh, gluten-free flour, okay. Uh, so in this, okay, masika. All right. And this is my arrowroot flour, which uh, helps with binding. So now I'm going to combine all the ingredients and you can use a spoon or your hands 
okay and uh your doll supposed to be loose okay it smells really good already it's going to be great if you like a little bit more salt or a little bit more nutritional ease you just put it more in your uh, mixture okay it's time uh, for um, for me to transfer uh, my uh, uh, future cross onto a parchment paper. That's what we're going to use, okay? And so you use any uh, kind of uh, of baking pan you want. I'm using. Uh, Okay, I'm using this pint of um, pan and um, okay, I, I need to sprinkle um, uh, the parchment paper a little bit with uh, flour um, uh, to prevent from uh, sticking when you uh, slice your uh, pizza. I'm going to form my crust right now, okay? So again, uh, the crust supposed to be loose and that's how my crust is, okay? Okay. Okay. Wow, easier, it is easier than I thought. Okay. Gonna be quite a large pizza. The the crust is going in the oven for about 45 minutes. I know this is a long time, but don't discourage yourself because this is going to be the best uh, pizza ever. Very, very healthy pizza, okay? So let's do it. 45 minutes, uh, 375 uh, Fahrenheit, okay? Welcome back. It's been 45 minutes since I, uh, started baking um, my crust and it's not over yet now we have to flip it okay so uh, in order to do it I will use spatula to loosen uh, the crust uh, from the bottom of the uh, parchment paper okay very carefully okay first Okay, and uh, I'm thinking it's uh, better to do it when uh, the crust is a little bit of um, um, cold, okay? And then put another uh, a parchment paper on top of my crust and flip it after flipping I will uh, bake it in the oven for another 10 to 12 minutes okay
okay in order to flip it now i need to grab two ends of my uh parchment paper okay Okay, okay, it's done. <laughs> Let's see what we got. And carefully, okay. Look like a little sticky here. But remove the paper carefully, okay. It was not really hard to do it, okay? If you follow direction, you will be successful with this, okay? So don't get discouraged. It was not that hard at all. Again, uh, make sure your uh, cross is at least it is about one half of inch thick, okay? Okay, and edges uh, should be a little bit thicker, just thicker. I don't know what mine is. Um, I'm happy uh, with what, what I got. That's the first time I'm, I'm, I'm making this, and look at me, I'm smiling. I'm happy, okay? I'm putting this back. Um, in oven for another 10 to 12 minutes. I see you soon. Okay, we have our crust ready. My crust is all ready and um, it looks great. And um, I just see a, a little bit of a couple of holes here, uh, which doesn't bother me because uh, more I do, more experience I'm going to um, be and uh, eventually I'm going to create um, perfect cross but I'm really happy with what I got so again if you just uh, remember to follow directions and uh, make your cross at least one half of, of each okay and um so um you have a choice this this is the last step right now you have a choice to uh, put uh sauce your favorite sauce on on top uh, of your uh, crust uh however remember that uh you don't want to uh, uh, use a lot of sauce because you don't want your uh cross soggy okay so just do a little bit all right so i will start with my uh favorite sauce okay now uh, which is again um tomato basil but again you use uh sauce of your choice or maybe you don't like it at all but it's going to be okay too Just put a little. Uh, that's plenty. Now I will use um, onions. Again, I'm using uh, red onions, okay. You can use any Topping C1 too. Now um, I will do a little bit of spinach. Okay. And um, 
then my uh, final step before I uh, add cheese is going to put um, um, mushrooms and uh, usually I don't uh, saute mushrooms but today I did it because uh, I don't want the uh, extra amount of extra I, I don't want extra water and you know on my uh, pizza because again as um, like um, uh, tomato uh, sauce um, mushrooms they have a lot of water in it and um, they're going to make uh, my crust soggy and we we want to avoid it okay so I just so sauteed it my uh, mushrooms okay and just a little bit uh, oily okay Look at that combination of um, all my toppings. I like it this way. And uh, finally, I will add a little bit of uh, vegan cheese, okay, uh, to my pizza. All right. You don't have to do it if you don't like it this way. Instead, if you can um, sprinkle your your pizza with uh, uh, parmesan uh, vegan uh, parmesan or maybe um if you wanted to do the uh, nutritional ease I, I don't see why not okay all right okay there should be plenty okay now um my uh, already created pizza is going in an oven for about 10 more minutes or maybe less i'm just going to watch it okay uh to see uh i guess when the uh, cheese is all melted uh pizza is probably ready uh to take out from the oven okay let's do it because I am so hungry. Pizza is all ready for tasting. Looks really good. And I know there was a long process of making that, but um, while uh, when I was waiting for pizza to, to be made, I was watching movie. So meanwhile, you can watch your favorite movie or your favorite uh, show, maybe cooking uh, channel and uh, think about the, uh, the pizza is, is also very healthy. Uh, again, as I said, and said it in the, in the beginning, it's uh, gluten and uh, uh, grain free, and uh, it is also vegan. And I'm sure I create something delicious here. Uh, the only thing I would improve about my uh, my pizza is actually uh, uh, crust I created um, because I thinking that my crust is uh, crust is not as thick as it's supposed to be, but it doesn't mean that it's not going to be eatable. I'm sure it's going to be good. So uh, just just remember to uh, to follow direction and make the crust one half of inch thick okay all right um it's enough of talking it's time for me to to eat now okay it is so hot okay so um just be careful 
okay when you um cut it okay well what i say well it was not hard to to cut it at all okay now um i will use some some kind of a uh, maybe wider spoon to transfer uh, the, the slice of pizza onto my uh, plate okay so maybe i can do it this way no maybe not okay well let's do it okay yeah yeah last few ingredients okay okay are we ready No, because mm, this uh, pizza is made of cauliflower, you usually can eat it with a spoon. That's what I'm going to do. Mm. I'm really impressed. It's amazing. It's so delicious. And uh, Wow, so please try to make it, you're going to be happy. So if you like my recipe, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye-bye.